Uh, now, friends, today on Bitcoin basics, on Bitcoin basics, we will see what exactly is the double spending problem. The double spending problem. Now, this came somewhere in back 1990s when people were just trying to invent cryptocurrencies. The problem stated in a very simple way is imagine you buy an apple for one dollar. Now you pay one dollar and in return you get an apple. The one dollar is paid in cash. Now the same one dollar you cannot use it to buy an orange because the dollar is already given to the person correct however in digital currencies when you use for example a bitcoin uh, the money is not physical cash so when you use bitcoins to send it is a wallet from where you give the money so this is not physical cash so there is a small possibility that the transaction can be possibly copied and it can be rebroadcasted this can happen there is a so this opens a possibility of something called as a double spend simply because it is not physical cash, but it is something which we are using, a digital code. Now, this code can be rebroadcasted. Hence, there is a possibility of a double spend simply because it is not physical cash. Let us see how the Bitcoin actually overcomes this problem. Now, if this was physically possible, then the money would be worthless because everybody will have unlimited access and the entire Bitcoin network would succumb to this. So how does the Bitcoin network protect this double spend? Uh, so the Bitcoin network protects the double spends by actually verification by actually verification of each recorded transactions. So each transaction has to be recorded within the blockchain and this utilizes the proof of work mechanism. Proof of work mechanism also called the POW. So how does the Bitcoin actually protect the double spend? It uses a verification process. Each transaction is recorded in the blockchain. The blockchain is something like an open immutable ledger. So the transactions are finalized by its inputs and they are confirmed by they are confirmed by miners. So the miners have to confirm the legitimacy of the transaction. The confirmation, confirmations make each unique Bitcoin and subsequent transaction legitimate. So how is it made legitimate? It is actually done by the miners who confirm the transaction. So more the confirmation, more confirmations we receive from a given transaction, it is harder to double spend. Now we will see what are the possibilities of how a double scan can actually be done. So suppose two transactions spend the same input to the same to the same block. Imagine you are using the same input to the same block. You are sending two inputs to two different people. So imagine A is sending to B and C the same money, 
something like a typical double spend problem. The Bitcoin automatically rejects both the transactions to prevent one Bitcoin from going towards two separate ends. So this is rejected completely. A similar rejection occurs if two separate blocks receive inputs from the same Bitcoin source. So this means the miners observe this and the Bitcoin treats each circumstances of incidents as something like an accounting fraud. Nevertheless, double spend is still possible in Bitcoin. If this does occur, at least one party in one of the transactions will not receive the Bitcoin. All parties are responsible for communicating and sorting out the dispute. So technically, there is a possibility that the same transaction, a double spend can. However, it is very, very less probable that this can happen. Uh, so finally, we look at it like this, that uh, the every amount of Bitcoin that exists uh, is actually coming from the network and they are issued by miners. Uh, this is the transaction history starting from the issuance of the block and, and each assignment from there. So if the mining pool, suppose there is a mining pool which receives 25 bitcoins and then pays 6 bitcoins to a person say Alice and Alice pays 0.8 bitcoins to Bob. All these are recorded at each and every stage from the Bitcoin addresses in its wallet. A check is made to ensure that the funds used in this transaction have not yet been spent. So using the example above, if Bob sends for pay to the merchant 0.5 bitcoins and the bitcoin he uses for payment is 0.8 bitcoins, the merchant will see that the coin was not yet spent and thus the transaction can tentatively proceed. So we have something like a confirmation confirmation mechanism from the blockchain to see how legitimate the transaction is. And this is maintained in the universal ledger which is called as a blockchain. So the Bitcoin's blockchain maintains a chronologically ordered, that means time-oriented, time-stamped transaction. Every 10 minutes, every 10 minutes, a block is added to the ledger. A block is added to the ledger every 10 minutes. And all nodes on the block network keep a copy of this global ledger. Uh, let us suppose that you have one Bitcoin. Okay, you made the one Bitcoin transaction to a merchant. Say eBay or something you buy and you send one Bitcoin. Now you can sign and send the same Bitcoin on another Bitcoin address to try and trick the merchant. It is possible. You can do that. Both transactions go to an unconfirmed pool of transactions, but only your first transaction got confirmations and was verified by miners in the next block. Your second transaction could not get enough confirmations because the miners judged it as invalid, so it was pulled out from the network. So that's what happens. This is how the double spending problem is actually prevented by the blockchain. Meaning, the first transaction is done, it gets a certain confirmations, 
the more confirmations it gets the second transaction gets rejected but what happens when you actually send both the transactions exactly at the same time imagine that you are you are having two computers and you are pressing both send exactly at the same time now this is quite possible because both of them have gone into the system for verification so both of them will get some number of confirmed transactions so whichever gets more confirmed transactions that payment will go through the other one will get rejected now this is very unfair for the merchant as a transaction might fail in getting confirmations and that is why it is recommended that merchants should wait for a minimum of 6 transactions minimum of 6 confirmations sorry minimum of 6 confirmations simply means that the transaction was added to the blockchain six more blocks containing several other transactions were added after that confirmations are nothing but more blocks containing more transactions being added to the blockchain each transaction and blocks are mathematically related to the previous one all these confirmations and transactions are time stamped on the blockchain making them irreversible and impossible to tamper with so if a merchant receives minimum number of trans confirmations he or she can be positive that it was not a double spend by the sender that means you can expect after six confirmations it is very difficult to break the system in the next video we will see how what are the problems the double spend could uh, face and how further the bitcoin has strengthened these and how improbable the double spend can actually happen in the bitcoin network or the blockchain thank you for watching so this was the basics too of bitcoins